Your city council and staff understand the investment necessary in our infrastructure and our facilities like roads and drainage to continue to function at the highest level. Years of investments in stormwater drainage infrastructure continue to protect our homes and our businesses during severe weather events, which are now becoming unfortunately more frequent. Since Hurricane Harvey, we've completed five drainage studies and embarked on an ambitious plan to address river erosion. We are working closely with our flood control partners and have secured federal funding for this priority. Let's listen to our assistant city manager, Chris Steubing, who has worked with the city manager and me extensively on the erosion issue as he explains our progress in more detail. A lot of people don't even know the river's there. Unless you're crossing 59 or the 99 bridge uh, every day, that's when it becomes apparent to you when you see a, a, a vertical face um, you know, on one of the river banks. Rivers meander, they migrate over time. Uh, this river's been doing this for millions of years. Uh, in this case here, we've identified those critical areas that are impacting infrastructure or some of our uh, levee improvement districts. Uh, understanding the extent of the erosion at this point in time, what infrastructure or other parts of the city may be jeopardized uh, in, in the future as we've looked at the, the risk side uh, is important for us from a planning perspective moving forward. We understand uh, the rate of migration based off critical velocities or flows in the river now more than we ever did before and we understand the soil conditions around it and what might be um, creating some of these issues uh, that we're dealing with like at the 59 turnaround. Uh, you know the current state is, is it's being monitored it's being looked at by several different uh, entities on you know bringing awareness to the issue but also moving forward with resiliency type projects you know flood proofing type projects that will help the city and our residents and, and the county, uh, as well as other stakeholders within the lower basin. Uh, moving forward though, our goal is looking at the next uh, five to 30 years, is what do we do, how do we handle that, and how do we address that as it, not only Sugarland, but as Portman County, as the state as a whole. As your mayor, I've been particularly proud to lead this effort with our city council in our senior management, you know, this is an extraordinary effort. It takes an extraordinary commitment. The dollars are in the billions. Well beyond the capability of the city of Sugarland's balance sheet, Fort Bend County, even the state of Texas. But we're committed to working with all the agencies, the Corps of Engineers, the counties, not just Fort Bend County, the Brazos River Authority, to make sure that, that we get this addressed. Uh, we've also involved our levee improvement districts in our MUD so that they understand the critical nature of what we're doing. Our primary goal is to be prepared for the next Hurricane Harvey. With this in mind, our city's drainage projects have been prioritized to ensure, one, that they have the most meaningful impact, and two, that we involve the right parties in order to implement those projects. Our current five-year CIP includes 43 million in capital improvements for drainage, including a $6.6 .6 million construction project that will improve drainage in Settlers Park, which was just one of the communities that was impacted by Hurricane Harvey. 